Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today we're going to be going over 99 overall Signature Series Tom Seaver. This card is a boss in the 7th inning program. So he's still obtainable by getting 300 stars in the program, which is running for about another week. Or you can buy him off the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 90,000 stubs. So with that being said, let's get right into the review. This card is probably tier one. Um, he's like literally teetering on the edge of tier one and tier two, but if he was to be in tier two, he'd be at the very top. Um, this is a card that I think deserves a spot in every single person's rotation if you're looking to make the best team possible. Um, I just think he's slightly worse than I was expecting. I thought this card was gonna be nuts, insane. Challenge Kershaw. I don't think he's quite there, but he's still an amazing card and definitely someone you can rely on as part of your rotation. So obviously everyone knows um, that Tom Seaver has a sick pitch repertoire. The change of speeds is really nice for him. Um, he's got basically four different levels of speeds, which is always nice. He has a 91 home runs per nine, which is pretty nice um, for a starting pitcher to kind of limit the amount of home runs you give up since it actually matters this year. Um, but yeah, overall, just a super solid card. Um, the, there's a couple knocks that I want to bring up with him, um, mainly being his per nines aren't off the charts. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're really good, but with all the people's lineups that you're going to be running into at this point of the year, their PCIs are still going to be pretty decently big. Um, especially on All-Star and Hall of Fame. So um, he's not up there with Kershaw is the point I'm trying to get across, but he's definitely um, a very, very good pitcher, probably Tier 1, like I said. Um, the other knock is actually pitching out of the stretch. So with runners on, he's pretty hard to control. Um, pitching out of the stretch, he has kind of a weird windup, and it's also pretty easy to steal on him. So pretty much anyone with 90 plus steed, your speed on base, you're obligated to slide step every pitch, which kind of messes with your control. But um, for those to be the only two complaints for me on this card is a pretty good deal. Um, overall, like I said, I think this card is amazing. Um, the sinker has a lot of late downward movement. It's not really horizontal, it's more of downward movement. And it's really late, so it's pretty easy to induce um, so weak contact with this pitch. I think sinker is probably this card's best pitch. Um, and I think curveball is probably this card's worst pitch. It's hard to throw the curveball um, for a strike without it absolutely getting tanked, kind of like how Kershaw's is. So really he's a four pitch pitcher and the curveball is just there to maybe throw no more than five times a game. Um, but as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him an A. Like I said, should definitely be in everyone's rotation if you're looking to have the best team possible. And for the price, I'll give him an A plus because he's only selling for 90k, and 90k for one of the what I'm saying is one of the top five starting pitchers in the game is a really good deal in my opinion. So I hope you all enjoyed this card review. Let me know down in the comments section below who you want me to review next. Enjoy the clips after this, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.